Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In this video, we're talking about Nintendo Switch emulation on PC and on Android, PS2 emulation on Mac, as well as Xbox 360 emulation. Let's get started. All right, we'll kick things off here talking about Nintendo Switch emulation on PC with Yuzu. If you have a lower end device, you might really like this update. So the mainline version of Yuzu as of build 987 here got a massive performance boost. They say this change can drastically reduce CPU usage on low core thread systems, two to four cores threads. This results in better performance, faster loading times, better audio playback, and generally improved stability in most games. To pick up the latest version of Yuzu, all you have to do is download it from the website or just open it up and it should automatically update for you. Now, currently at the time of filming, we're on version 988, which is after 987, so everybody should have access to this. Now, unfortunately, I don't have a low-end system to test this change out on as I've sold my older computer. But if you do, let me know in the comments below to see if you noticed an actual difference. If you noticed a difference, how much better is it now? Moving on here, and we're still talking about Switch emulation, just on Android. And we're talking about the best Switch emulator on Android, Skyline, which has yet another breakthrough. Star Horizon, a 3D game made with Unity, is up and running at a decent FPS. Project Diva previously booted up, but looked really messed up. Here it's not perfect, but it's looking a lot better. Cities Sky Skylines is now booting, and here is one to get really excited about. Hyrule Warriors is showing signs of life. It's not fully playable just yet, but it is booting. Next up here, we're talking about Xbox 360 emulation on PC with Xenia, or Xenia depending on how you want to pronounce it. There is an update for this that fixes a few bugs. Thanks to a brand new contributor for the project, Lollyman96, some Fable 2 graphical issues have been fixed. And interestingly enough here, these fixes also apply to other games like Vigilante 8 Arcade, where terrain issues are now fixed. In my opinion, it's always great to see more people helping out with these emulators, and the results here, well, they speak for themselves. Last up here, we're talking about PlayStation 2 emulation, but not in a way you might be expecting. Talrat, the developer of Aether SX2, has ported it over to Mac. It is not available to the public just yet. This is a private developer build, but at the same time here, this is very impressive. I mean, Talrat himself seems pretty darn excited about this, reporting frames per second of 230 based on the 3900X. Now, at this point in time, I don't know the specifics of this Mac build. I think it's working on M1 chips. I don't know if it's going to release or if Talrat is just having fun with it. Either way, this is exciting, and I wouldn't recommend bugging Talrat about it. Just let them have fun here. Maybe it releases, maybe it doesn't. But anyways, that is all I've got for you in this one. Straight to the point, all stuff and no fluff. Let me know your thoughts on anything we talked about today in the comments below, whether it was Switch emulation on PC or on Android, Xbox 360 emulation or PS2 emulation on Mac. Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos, don't tempt fate, save your state.